Nathanael Cano and Junior H were beefing it last Ooh. week. Yeah. I thought they were going to be another card for the Tank Tank Davis and what's the other guy fool? Junior said that he never considered himself to do corridos tumbados, que siempre tuvo su propia línea, siempre para él fueron corridos regulares y que lo de los corridos tumbados pues era algo diferente. Era Dice que los corridos tumbados ese nombre se creó con los otros amigos, con los amigos con los que empezó. Nathan le responde a Junior H. That's crazy. Who said this seven times in front of our parents? Really? Yeah. Yes. No, and that was not no, the worst. That was not the worst. the worst. That was, was not the worst. It was Jason at the restaurant. He's like, dang, I talked to Angel's parents. And I was like, what do you want me to say? Ask Angel's mom what she thinks about. <laughs> I know. That's like the dumbest thing I ever heard you say. There's dumber stuff that there, I can't well, say on stuff here. That, that I can't say on here. Yeah. yeah, you guys said a lot of <clears throat> bunch of dumb stuff outside. A lot of dumb stuff. I did outside. I... Me? Jason. Oh. Outside. Oh Jason? no, yeah. no, a lot of dumb stuff that I can't say here that was said that day. Oh, I, yeah. Well, Diego I, got drunk. I ain't saying nothing. Start with intro. Yeah. Talking about outside. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Agusta Baba ah. podcast. If you guys are new to this oh, channel, make oh. sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. As you guys can Bam. see, we're in a different studio. We're at Spotify Studios in Los Angeles. Huge shout out to the Spotify team, That's Danny, right. Antonio, Michael, and Lee. everyone, Lee, who made this possible. As of right now, we have this little room, but in the future, we're going to get the big room. We're rap like this one. Yup. I think the bigger rooms would be cool, too, but... Just uh, to see the sitting arrangement. I want I want, to, I want to design our you know, so I can say Agusto Papa with yeah, the lighting some, like, and everything. Stuff. But we started here, you know, start from the bottom, now we're here. But, come down, Drake. Yeah, also, uh, make sure you guys check out the Los Camandan playlist on Spotify. Click the little circle right there. I am right there. You guys can see my face. I'm like, Look for this weird. one. And uh, click on it. We're going to be uploading content on there. And also, check out our playlist, Para Andar a Gusto. We're going to update it, like, every week or every two weeks. Yeah, it's due for an update pretty soon, so make sure you check it out. And remember that it's free. You All you have to do is, you know, make an account, as you would with Apple Music or any other platform. Make an account, you can listen to the stuff for free. Yes. And also, talking about Spotify, uh, we're also uploading our audios back on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Sir. And I I was behind on like eight sure. videos, so I uploaded them. A again. lot of people, I feel eight like they video. liked it. They were waiting on that. And now we are s ranked 17 on the charts on Spotify for music category. Casi number nine. four on Apple Podcasts for music interviews. Number 12 on Apple Podcasts for just m music itself. Which is crazy. Uh, Pep is like 30-something. Number 12? 12, yeah. Sheesh. We're beating Pepe on the audios, but he's beating us on the YouTube. One. So some friendly hey, competition. We got some yeah, Pepe. 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 Hey. Pepe. 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 Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. And I would just like to say that this is like a huge, huge, huge improvement. This is going from like 1 to 100 on the... On, on everything. This was a dig. You know what he did? You guys saw the comment he did on Jimmy's? Yeah. I'm going to put this little picture right here. It's Jimmy with his hair like that. And Angel commented. What did he comment? He's like, hey, mucho pelo, Jimmy. Dale tantito al Pepe. Yeah, that's kind of fucked up. That's, that's bad. bad. Damn, Damn but I should have done it with my own account. I had to use Augusto. Shh. You know, like I, Angel's always getting us into beef. I know, no, for real. He's always getting us blocked. I, I got you guys blocked. You. Who did I get you guys blocked by this week? By Marco Mepe's manager. Why I did not do shit. None we of us didn't did do shit. anything. We just literally did an episode and stated what, what was happened. already out there and we got blocked. Can't but, relate. It never got blocked. Can I go? Blocked. <laughs> you got blocked, bro. No? You got you blocked. Are, oh, you didn't, huh? But kind of going back to what Diego said, uh, we're in this new studio. It's a new environment. Uh, it's super badass. I think we have like, what, five, 4K cameras? Water. 4K cameras, yep. Panasonic. Then, oh, yeah. I heard cake cameras. And then we have these Where? beautiful mics with these Sony headphones. It's fucking badass. There's badass lighting. It's on. We with don't look Angel like the Simpsons. Yeah. You have the have green light the... and because of Spotify. Yeah, yeah, but thanks to you guys and the way that you guys support us, we're able to do stuff like this. And thank you for supporting the podcast. Let's get it. Let's get it. I want to give you the laptop. And for the people who are eating, a benefit. And for the people who are drinking, salud. Comment down what you guys are doing right now. I want to know if you guys are at the gym, you guys are eating, you guys have us on your TV, you guys have us on your phone. I'm not perreando. In the middle of Cancel. class. <laughs> Yeah, that's... yeah. if you're watching us, instead of listening to math and how to what do... What if someone like... Hey, to the people that are in the middle of finals, taking tests, le ganas, le ganas. Bro, how many times has Keiko said, it's almost spring break? <laughs> Who doesn't go to school? <laughs> spring break. <laughs> Why are you so concerned about spring Porque break? Parties, bro. <laughs> Holidays. Parties. She's like, she's off. Hey, todas las morritas Whoa. van a estar perreando. Ah, <laughs> yes, but just getting straight into it before he says another... 
Come on. Bro, he said some bullshit, which made him get him followed by Pesa Blue Man. <laughs> True story. <laughs> he oh, still follows also me. Also, guys, since uh, we're recording here at Spotify, now we're bringing JLP, Pesa Blue Man, Nata, Yarita. Tell him a little bit why we've kind of held off. <laughs> oh, we held off because of the studio. We just wanted to make, we wanted it to be professional, you know, like, where we don't fuck up, where, like, the neighbors aren't so loud, where there's no sirens, there's a restroom. no dogs. Yes, 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 yes. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah, there was no restroom. It's super, or space. It's super legitimate here. It would be on the street. To get access to the room, you have to actually sign in. There's someone in the front corner. Oh, car. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Counter. That you, you need to tell them, like, your name, like, who you're here to see. So, you can't just walk in, you know. It, you need... It's, it's also going to be cool because, you know, our Mexican artists, they bring an entourage of, like, 80 people. Mm-hmm. And uh, we the just bigger the it. artist, the bigger the entourage. You yep. Know? Yeah. Yep. So, like, we just interview them here. And then the entourage goes, like, I think they go, like, they in have another a, room. They have they different watch. rooms. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I watch. just, like, hope you guys, like, you know, understand how crazy of a jump it is to be here. It's amazing, uh, honestly. It's <laughs> off the charts. Off the charts. We are very thankful to everybody that's helped us get to this point. Um, You know, we, we can't say we did this alone. A lot of people have helped us along, but yes, thanks to you guys. Nathaniel Cano and Junior H, we're beefing it last <gasps> week. Yo. I thought they were gonna be another card for the Tank Tank Davis and what's the other guy for? I don't me acuerdo. The one that's gonna load Javante Davis. Damn, you don't support our Mexican people. That's crazy. You one of those? Tank Davis. Damn, you're a racist. El Tanque to Tanque our... Sote is gonna Arasa? win. Nah, no. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Tank Davis is a badass fighter. <laughs> Two seconds oh, later. What do y'all got? What do y'all got? Yes, want, but I they want, were going to be the undercard. I got Ryan because was going to be the... Yeah, he's... I want Ryan to win, but I want our Tank people Davis. to win. Wait, Ryan, Ryan? I want Ryan. our people to win. Tank. Yeah. Ryan. Yeah, you do look like a tank. <laughs> 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 no, Tank Davis. Yeah, anyway, anyway. He's loud on the mic, bro. Oh, my, my, bad, bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Maybe I just got too close. Don't forget to get... Close. Yes. <laughs> Nathaniel Cano and Junior H were beefing it a little bit last w- well, a lot last week because Junior H went on a he had a press conference for his f- to announce his first date in Mexico City, Plaza Mexico, really big plaza. And you know when you're uh when you're there, I thought they just asked you questions about you know like the day like How's the show gonna be? But no, la gente aprovecha to ask about everything, and you know that's them about yeah. <laughs> no, more no, savage, no, huh? Than the United me, States, me, 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 bro. Yeah. Si vieran, aprovechan, and they asked him what he thought about correos, you know, correos tumbados, stuff like that. I don't know exactly what the question was. Nobody recorded the lady. How do you know the lady? Huh? How do you know the lady? That's crazy. I don't know. So you're assuming? <laughs> So you're assuming then? Wow. wow. I'm assuming genders. Oh, I am very oh, sorry wow. to be assuming. That is assuming <laughs> genders were in 2023. You're assuming. You're assuming. You're That's assuming. This, okay, That's this crazy. person, this person. Can't tell into them below. <laughs> which I am not assuming anything. We we're not assuming genders in 2023. Stop. Yes. This reporter asked him a question. And Junior said that he never considered himself to do Correos Tumbados. Que siempre tuvo su propia línea, siempre para él fueron corridos regulares y que lo de los correos tumbados pues era algo diferente. Era, era todo dice grande. que los correos tumbados ese nombre se creó con los otros amigos, con los amigos con los que empezó. Habla, pues ya saben, you know, Nata y las otras personas que estaban ahí. Right, but before but we think, continue, do you guys think, do you guys agree with that, with Junior? That like in the beginning it wasn't corridos tumbados? No, I feel like he was making corridos tumbados with Nata and that penthouse. I think so too. Maybe, maybe, I'll, maybe, I'll no, take the. I'll felt, be a moderator. No comment. I just felt like they they all grew together, but cada quien hizo su own like platform, you know. But he's like, asking at the beginning. I, I said, yeah, he's asking at the beginning, my bro. But who, who was the one that like stated that he like, oh, I'm doing that too. When his songs, he did say like, oh, puros corridos tumbados, compa. Nata. Cor- puedo, uh, y la bandera se te, compa, nata. Yeah. Yeah. Is it, is it like on songs alone on or songs. duetos? On songs. Uh, I feel like duetos. Okay, yeah. that's different though because Dueto, you're with someone. So Maybe he's you always respect. shout out like the other person. Yeah, you know? he's giving respect to to Nata. And he you came know? out on the album Corridos Tumbados Volume One and Two. But uh, the Dueto. But then no, no but, then, the, but, then, but then but then one. again, I think there's a song where, I the one that goes. Better <laughs> than la carita, better than la carita. Okay, there's a song. That's uh, Junior. It's okay. And then him Junior just says, "Puro Corridos Tumbados." I think it's ay, ay, ay. Oh, you're talking about... Um, oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about, yeah. Watch. Damn, that boy had it on his phone already? That's right. I mean, I, I'm wearing a junior Okay, so shirt, now... But... Me too. 
this yeah, yeah, and boy. I was um, shout out Alec. I was just kind of. Kind of what? Kind of what? Yo solo estaba resumiendo lo que él dijo, pero hay que escuchar lo que él dijo con sus propias palabras para que no digan que yo le cambié luego. Okay. I feel like it's an AI. In your flip -top. Yes, que él empezó haciendo corridos desde el principio y ya. Damn. Pero hay más o menos. I let's, no, watch this. Well, I'll, I see now he's in his own lane for sure. But he's in his own lane. Feel. And watch this. Junior. Yo jale al Junior. Al H. Junior. Mira, estamos haciendo esto. Son los corridos tumbados. Tenemos un disco. Queremos meter a toda la clique. Y aquí queremos hacer corridos tumbados un círculo. No queremos yeah. andar disparejos. Te metes o te sales. <laughs> no, pues entramos. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Well, I feel like people did take it out of context, too. Like, yeah, they try to stir up the context. pot. I don't really see a problem for Junior saying that. And I don't think it's, like, something to get mad. Oh, I shame. Siento que la gente nomás le gusta hacer ese tipo de cosas. No sé por qué. Pero no, no, no estamos, no estamos aquí para hacer mitote. Nada más queremos aclarar de que no hubo nada, no pasó nada. Eso es lo que único que queremos aclarar. No pasa nada. Sí. You think a lot of people be doing that? Like, they just be, like, instigating shit and getting... Artists like Pagas de Pelén and shit. Yeah, for sure. Well, it's because right away they started with like, oh, oh it, it is it. Team Junior. Bro, that shit was like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> like, because, bro, like, they're, okay, they're like, like, oh, Team Junior or Team Nata. Yeah. Like, can we be both? They're, they're having a show. Oh, uh, yeah. Puros Corridos con Panata. And it's just Junior H. But yeah? he gives, a, he gives, a, the, but he okay, gives okay. the shout out to, to Nata. No, no, listen. Why listen. didn't he just say, oh, Arriba la bandera, puro corrido tumbado. Look, I look, don't look. know why he just why, said it. Why, why he say, <laughs> like, Nathan? He didn't tumbado. have to bring Nathan. Because this, this was at the beginning. But so okay, he gave okay, respect. thing, though. He, if he, you say something, like, one time a comment, that doesn't have to define your whole life. Yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't. But I'm, You but, said some stuff that... Shit. No, but we said from the beginning, your question was, was was Junior Hatcher making corrido tumbado giving, at the he's beginning? Giving, he's giving a shout out to And I said, yes, this is my opinion. So you say no? Yeah, he used your thing. Wait, so you say uh, not that you think Junior H wasn't doing Corridor so much in the beginning? No. <laughs> Why? Because he was just doing his. Like, you know, he was just there. All right, he I was just... there with the motion. Like, he... Motion, <laughs> though. All right, all right. I just want to play this because this was, like, that at the beginning right. of Junior H's We're career. We're past that shit. <laughs> Copyright. Copyright, right uh, there. Right. Copyright. Ah, mi niño. Copyright. Copyright. Oh, it wasn't puros corridos. You know what this gave me vibes? It wasn't, it wasn't puros corridos con panata. It was compa something con panata. And he put puros corridos tumbados. Well, yeah, it. Like, it's the, it's like when like Alex saying. put on his story, uh, what was it? JOP giving the shout out to Lumbre Music. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> so it's like the same thing. But, if people be like, oh, por Augusto Papa. Oh, shit, you're part of Augusto Papa now. No, that's, uh, that's it's the same that's, thing. That's what I was trying to say, but you said no, it better. Not. You said it better. It's it doesn't have thing. to define you. It doesn't it's define you, but your thing. question. A little is, shout out oh, to a homie, you know? Yeah, you're giving respect to. I'm answering. To a oh, I remember something. I, mean, I remember something. So I mean, back Ooh. back then, uh, okay, when Junior, one. when a lot of people started saying that they were doing corridos tumbados, uh, Jimmy Rancho Mille and Nata made a statement saying the only people doing corridos tumbados are Nata, Junior, Ovi, and Dan. And then Nata respond. Well, he reposted uh, Jimmy, who said that, and he said it's not a genre. It's only these four people who are doing it. And then Nata said, "Necesitas el sello de corrido tumbado de nosotros for it to be a corrido tumbado." Bitch! Dude, look, I want to add look, to look, that. Look, 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 that you're look. never gonna get this sort of knowledge from any other podcast. Like, nope, nope, nope. Right nope, there, you nope, can see nope, eat, nope. sleeps, and breathes Correo corridos. Boom, 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 I'm not gonna lie, lie Nata. He, you guys yeah, remember when yeah. my. <laughs> What'd you say? What do you say? He said you eat nata. <laughs> si pudiera, well, okay. si pudiera, si. El, Will el, Smith's el. husband over here. <laughs> I just wanted to say that. <laughs> I don't have anything else to say. Okay. He looks like a bottle of Julio. No. Angel. Angel. <laughs> okay, Angel. a ver, a ver. Dime, I, dime, dime. Okay, I, but then after we're going to the <laughs> to the clarification. Okay, okay. I an, I answered your question and then I backed it up with some evidence. Junior H was making corridos tumbados with nata at the beginning of his career. No. This, but, what, this is what I think happened. But then, but then, let me say something. It's, it doesn't have to define them hit anymore because mm -hmm. you Not change anymore. and, and like waves the, change and your music change and the way you, you want to be perceived change. Yeah, and I now, do. Junior H is making regular corridos. Yeah, like, now he is. Rescate. 
he was he was making music yo fin siento que antes que eran los correos tumbados you know mm -hmm. that before that was a thing but then you know Nata comes along he does correos tumbados since the well he starts his thing they're called correos tumbados you could call it type you know when he said he said from the beginning I did regular regular corridos and technically yes because correos tumbados no existían mm -hmm. then he goes and I feel like you could even call it just like a side quest or something you know he did regular corridos and he also did correos tumbados because I mean Jimmy said that it was corridos like that but now I think that he says that because he doesn't <laughs> want to be in that box yeah. of, you know, the same way that Musica Regional Mexicana is out of the box, is that out of that box, and now it's just Musica Mexicana, you know? I think he's uh, won his uh, his success outright on his own, and right now, currently in the charts, he's uh, he's higher. And so I, thought I, I think that's why he said that, you know? They each have their own line, and they each have their own success, and yes. And I felt like he left when... Not that went into that little like depression, depression era that he had, like fighting with Jimmy, fighting with everybody, um, and then that's when he was more focused on the sad music stuff. That's mm -hmm. true. And then like you could tell, Junior's more popping, but not that stopped releasing music for almost more than a year. And then when he came back, he did the the trap album, not and a lot of people didn't like that shit. The so. Not the Kong, right? Yeah, it's the one where he that has the hands so like this. That was so fire, bro. Yeah. A lot of people didn't like that? Yeah, a lot of people didn't like it. I thought it was all right. I mean, Junior actually took out a trap album. A lot of people didn't, didn't like that, that either. It was so like house like, music, no? Yeah. It's because people are so critical these days, It is, know? it is, it is, it is. Yeah. It's, like, it's hard so to look, please the okay, people uh, because... Uh, oh, sorry to cut you It's hard to please Mexicans. Yeah. Hey, you know what they say? That's another cause look, another Mexican's uh, worst enemy is another, another Mexican. Look, look, That's a crazy. Mexican. Look, in the... I want to say English world or whatever. Like, someone will start a podcast about music. No importa, there's like a lot. We started a podcast about Mexican music. Oh, want to be this, want to be that. Like, bruh. And then uh, Junior Acho would try to expand, do some trap. Oh, oh you want to be Bad Bunny so yeah, bad. Yeah, that's fucked Peso Pluma too. Oh, no, Bad Bunny. Like, it, and it's always Mexican saying that. I don't see any, like, fucking... I don't know if it's American in our that. culture or what it is. Or más los, or no no sé, but people sí. just love to criticize and kind of bring you down. Like, I don't think... It's a natural or normalish for a Mexican to just be like, oh, hell yeah, you know, you did your music and look, you have you have four or five hits in two, three months and like really big hits. Instead, they're like, oh, look, he's already going to do reggaeton. Y ya se, ya like se subió. Yeah, ya yeah, se yeah. le subió. Yada, yada, yada. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know. What, That's crazy. That. What was yeah. the statement, though? Yeah. So then, you know, andaban de mis toteros when the TikToks, que Team Junior, Team Nata. And then, um, to cancel the show, <laughs> Junior, <laughs> Junior was quick to, you know, like put down those rumors. And he first, I don't know which one he did first, but he tweeted this. He has Twitter, I guess. I, I personally don't have a Twitter. If he tweeted, then he has Twitter. The <laughs> guy <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, I'm saying like, he has Twitter. I just asked, like, I did not know that. I don't have Twitter. I hate no, don't follow hey, him on Twitter. Jason, hey. all he posts is like some bad bunny. Hey, yeah, I gave him a taste of his old medicine. I just hell asked. Hell yeah, hell yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I mean, you kind of got me too, but. <laughs> Small, a win is a win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, okay, so he tweeted this from his Twitter. Lo que menos haré en esta vida será pelarme con alguien que crecimos juntos musicalmente y que nos abrió camino en esta industria. Realmente to todos sacaron de contexto y crearon todo un desmadre. Yo sigo firme y para mí nada pasó y el viejo sabe qué rollo. Arriba la bandera. He even said it. He stated it like he opened, like the doors. For, that's what he said right there, right? Que y quién nos abrió camino en esta industria? You see? Yeah. So I like was he's good. the one that kind of like brought more of a expansion. Did I say it right? Exposure. Yeah, uh, exposure. Like he expanded the genre. Exponential growth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then <laughs> Xbox. <laughs> para todos los que no tenemos uh, Twitter, dijo esto en Instagram. Su Instagram. Ya perdón los errores porque se me está olvidando el español. Lo que menos haré en esta vida será pelarme con alguien a quien vi crecer junto conmigo, ni mucho menos por redes sociales. Realmente ustedes sacaron de contexto todo y ustedes mismos provocaron este desmadre. El viejo sabe bien qué tranza y cómo está el pedo fuera de esta industria. Sigo firme y para mí no ha pasado nada porque en realidad nunca pasó. Ustedes lo crearon. Los invitaría a que investigaran más a fondo, pero todo el mundo sabe que tenemos... Que, no, sabe cada quien hizo su línea porque todos tenemos hambre, todos buscamos nuestro camino y se dio hasta el día de hoy. De esa crecimos y aún así lo llevo en el pecho por siempre. Uh -huh. 
Mm. That's what it basically I, starts. No, I'm not. Yeah, yeah. Oh. That's my bad. I'm not done, but yeah, that thing. Aquí lo que sobra es el respeto y lo tienen ganado todos mis amigos. Así, así es esto. Yo prefiero llevarme todo en el corazón porque sé de dónde vengo y sigo humilde y no he cambiado. Shit, that's sí, it. Yeah, what you're saying, huh? No he cambiado. Nuestro camino. His, his music is true. No he cambiado. Todo buscamos nuestro camino y de y se dio hasta el día de hoy. De esa crecimos. Yeah, so maybe that, look. I have something to say. Dale. <clears throat> I think I, I I give a lot of respect to Junior Acha for for him to give Nata his flowers, saying Nata was the one that okay. opened the doors for like a lot of the artists that are popping right now. And I feel like Junior Acha, he didn't do it out of maldad. Like I feel like just by him making the statement, like he's actually being super humble about it because he doesn't seem like a desmadroso or problematic. I feel like Nata does seem a little bit more like rebellious and like oh my god, like I feel like. There was a little bit of like this, um, like act to him, like oh, I'm the best, I'm this and that. Maybe that kind of led, or his ego might have led him yeah. to make those statements. Que, oh, aquí no estamos de llorones, blah blah blah. Because everyone's I feel like different, Ju- you know. Junior H would have never said that. Never, he would have never said that. And I feel like yeah, yeah, I feel like Junior is a little more more understanding with that. And, yeah, like, and also, my bad. No, you're good. You're good. Well, what I think maybe that in the context that he said that que no eran correos tumbados, maybe it was in the same context like when Jimmy some time ago when he was on the panel. Saying, oh, ya no es música regional mexicana. Ya es música mexicana. Yeah, Maybe change. he was trying to say that, you know, son correos regulares y que se deberían de tener el mismo respeto que a los correos tumbados porque I feel that sometimes they think it's like a subgenre or mm-hmm. something like that. But, you know, like they're number one on the charts. So maybe he was saying in the context of, hey, you know, no son solo correos tumbados. Like we're not less or we're younger than. Yeah. You know, because like back then when Pepe Aguilar was saying, Oh, esos morros apenas están aprendiendo a tocar la guitarra y this and that, you know? Now they're saying correos regulares, they're at the same level. Mm-hmm. You know, not saying the correos tumbados are less, but, you know, he's saying in that context. Why are you looking at me? Defend yourself, boy. <laughs> 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 yeah. No, nah, nah, I get you, but I feel like the whole correo tumbado movement was, like, pretty amazing because people started to dress more like rappers. I know you could back me up more on this, like, it was more normal to wear, like, some Jordan 1s, Travis Scott's, like, some flared pants, some chains. And I feel like... Flared it, sweats. It, yeah, and I feel like... Um, My whole like, outfit right now. Like, the business, the business, in terms of the, mu- the music business and how it's being done, it's way... It's bigger. You know, these American brands are working with these Mexicans that literally... It's two guitars. We're in the golden age. Yeah, of it's literally two guitars. Mexican music. Literally two guitars, a bass, a bajoloche, or charchetas. And I mean, those three instruments like brought up the business so much. Mm-hmm. That, that's pretty amazing. And you think now that like more doors are opening up for artists and everything, like you think we're gonna be receiving more duetos from like reggaeton artists doing corridos and vice versa? Yeah, uh, I, th- I think it's for sure gonna bring up more, it's gonna open more doors because now more reggaeton artists want to work with these Mexican artists. Yeah. Like Pesbul Maju did, the Bebe. Bebe. Fire. You know, Bad Bunny to Nata. He's uh, the one that opened that. Maluma to Nata, which didn't come out. Uh, the one <laughs> with the group of Firme. I like it. Nata Tyson. Yeah, with the uh, uh, fir- uh, group firme. of Firme. Yeah, yeah, that's the, the group reason group. why that one didn't come out. He wanted to be the first one. Yeah. 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 And but then, also, not only that, but they did that, and then Grupo Firme took the credit saying that they're opening the doors. And that's when Jimmy got mad and said, oh, there's a lot of groups out here saying that they opened the doors, but the very first one was Nata. But yeah. Grupo Firme said... You know what? Oh. That's crazy, because when... They took the song out. They were both on their come up. Which song? Yeah. Uh, El Diablo. Soy El Diablo. Oh, the, oh yeah, yeah. Because that's when I first heard of Bad Bunny. Oh, really? Because yeah, that's, that's when El de la, uh, Yo Hago Lo Que Me Da La Gana dropped like, recently. Like, yeah. That album was dropped and he was coming up and Nata was also like at his peak. Yeah. No, so not his peak. They were, both, they were both going on the rise. So I felt yeah. like it was a both, you know, both genres or both different kind of music got put together. And then their fans became these fans. And yeah, because even he, Jimmy said there's fans, like, from Spain, like, Honduras, like, listening to Mexican music. Yeah, because I, I think like it was, like, a very, well, not to use the word, like, regional type of movement, you know, where it was, like, in L.A. and, you know, Mexico. But now there's, I'm pretty sure they could go to, Junior H could go to anywhere where they speak Spanish and he'd have mm-hmm. a crowd. And you know Same with Nata. It was pretty cool, like, recently when I went to um to Vegas for my sister's tournament, um, one of the promoters that we met at Edgardo's press conference was there um, in Vegas, and he invited me. Uh, shout out Jesse. He invited me to uh, to Calibash, 
and it was all reggaetoneros except uh, Fuerza Regida. That's sick. So I like feel back like, then it wasn't like that. Yeah, so I feel like now, like, it's going to be of a, of a mixture of both, you know? Like, sometimes we can have two different kinds of genres playing at the same Like event. Coachella. Like Coachella. Lollapalooza. You know? Yeah. Swing. Yeah. yeah. I think like these that live events, these live events are catching up to how our playlists are, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. With, you know, they even have that meme, you know, where it was like Tupac and like Chalino, like dabbing oh, yeah. each other up yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that, you know, these, it's like that now. Oh, these events are catching up to what we've been listening to for a little while. My, my playlist be going crazy, bro. No, your playlist do go crazy. One time I be going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's too no, deep. Trust. Got now, got now, got now. Like this was Perendo so hard. Bro, bro no, sweater's about to fall off. No, it goes like, Coronado to like Ice Spice. <laughs> like, bro, nah. But I feel like that's cool. Did you guys you know? see the little TikTok and it was like Ice oh, Spice okay. dancing? No, no. Oh, yeah, with the uh, with compa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. All right, so the computers in the studio, right? Agush mm-hmm. Papa's logged in right there. Who's yeah. searching up Ice Spice? Him? He's the only one that has access. We were in the studio, remember? Oh, really? Oh, yeah, no. he took I, some snipe. But there was like snipe. some. I, I, put, I put the song. I looked up Ice Spice on YouTube. Oh. But there was like more. Oh, what was it like? Like the bikini bottle. Because, because <laughs> <laughs> that was not me. The Dominican, the, the Dominican music. It's me. The dumbo. The, 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 the dumbo. I just yeah. saw some like uh, I spice like searched up like twenty times. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't like, find damn. the right. I this couldn't find like the the, the find right the, song. The hit. Nah, but the the dumbo <laughs> the dumbo lo más tengo un un playlist que me gusta like. That will go yeah, wild. Be playing. Diego like, has a playlist that like he knows what's coming. Like after, bro, like, two, five minutes, yeah. Sin playeras. Jeez, that's conoce. Skip it to minute four. Oh wait, la mamada, la mamada, la mamada. Yeah, <laughs> like the day, <laughs> the, the day we went to go uh, for your dinner. Right away, like as soon as I came out of the of the fucking restaurant, Blasted yeah, the music, music was playing already. In you the had car. enough country music. Everyone was like, yeah. Bro, I was, yes. I was walking in for already shaking fucking. I'm like f- you shaking now? Nah, 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 no, mm. not me. I was like, <laughs> oh, bro, bro. <laughs> on a you shaking, the, you shaking the front. Club, <laughs> club going up on a Tuesday. Yeah. No, but like if if you pay attention, like now people people's playlists consist of reggaeton and corridos because you know how a lot of people went from uh, reggaeton to now like the bélico, which the bélico is like hitting super hard. Yep, we as a I don't know, as a genre, we were being underserved, I think. There was no events big like that. But now, we c- there's no denying that La Musica Mexicana está en su mejor momento. Mm-hmm. Del que yo me acuerde. Like, people love You know, how, how, did we, how did we go from people saying, like, oh, you're paisa, listening to corridos and stuff like that, to yeah, it's doing cool. bigger numbers than Bad Bunny, you know, matching reggaeton numbers. Finally, Mexico for the first time having Mexican artists be number one. That's you crazy. know, like going from like the weekend and Taylor and Swift. People are shocked about that. They were like, "How is that something you celebrate? Like it's Mexico." But I didn't want to comment about it, bro. Like Taylor Swift is like literally like number one. Then the weekend, and Bad you know, Bunny, like you, you it's know, not us. you know, it's pretty crazy. Que cuando vas a México se escucha mucho, a lot of English music. Mm-hmm. So it's uh-huh. like it's like, bro, like yeah, to. Like us here, we listen to a shitload of Spanish music, but what's that? Yeah, and yeah. every story is English music, bro. It's like that's wild. So and, for yeah. them to like be bumping Spanish music, that means like you know the style is different. More people are are going into like the Mexico yeah. side. Yeah. Yeah. No está expuesto esto y ni sabe, but there's I think there's like a whole category of YouTube where it's English songs with subtitles of Spanish. You know, with the Spanish lyrics. Yeah, like somebody crazy. just goes on there and like translates it. Damn, I, do you think uh, us as Mexicans or the people in Mexico have trouble, like, supporting each other? Since, like, we're not even number one in, in our own fucking... Well, what this will brought that he was saying, what, like, is 2022 going to be the year of the corridos? I feel like, uh, you said that right? Or, I can't remember what year it was, but we were talking about that. And yeah. you see corridos with two, well, I mean, of course, it has to be at least two, but you see with three people, you know, like the VVS song, Peso mm-hmm. Pluma, Edgardo, Darelles. That was something that you didn't really see back then. No. Nah. Three people in uh, a song? Well, kind of. Like, no, like, you would only, li- you would only hear it in I'm not saying like it's like, never done before, oh, but I'm on, saying... It was only a reggaeton. Like, Cause the re- new, newer music. Because old school, yeah, like you'll have fucking um, Gerardo Ortiz, Bucanas, yeah, have- and like El Commander and all of them. But like, when At it once? changed, yeah, when it changed, like it was just like... Um, cause uh, Reglo Caro did it with um, La Ariel Camacho, Dolio. yeah. Like let's that see, was that huge. was three. That was badass. And then the Good one times. where Ariel Dolian. passed and they put Ulises Chavez. I forgot something in Dorian too. Yeah, like, I'm to take that back. Three. So you know Sabo. Yeah, I just feel like right now it's just it's bigger. Yeah, yeah, it's and bigger. It's we're it's, going to, uh, to the level maybe you soon have four people. 
Yeah. And but what's cool is that it's different labels. Antes lo más it was in oh, your label. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's kind of like what I'm kind of saying because it was, it was like the biggest that's news of the new. year when that's Bad Bunny went with with Nata. Yeah, but you know, uh, Jimmy said in the last interview that he hates it that it's like you do we we'll do one song for you and then we do one like song the deals for you. that are made are he said are yeah. dumb because that's what they all say like oh if I do it, do it, do it, do you gotta do one for me. Like uh, oh, and then like they each keep one song revenue. Yeah, hey, maybe uh, what happened because you know Frontera did the way. song with. Uh, Fuerza Regida, and they did Bebe Dame, and they did Nueve Once. Yeah. Maybe Rancho Humilde kept the Nueve Once song, and Bebe Dame was just for Frontera. They probably yeah. Do. I mean, Type of work, thing. They're working with the records now. Frontera? Uh, Rancho, like the artists. How? Oscar Maidon, yeah. Eslabon. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, but that's that's like their underground music, you know? Like, that's, that's good. Hey, and like, that, didn't, that wasn't like a crazy big deal, you know? We're moving towards... Something. It's becoming normal. Because remember when we said Normalized. it, when we first started, we're like, if these labels work together it would like, be, over, it'll be yeah. over bro now it's like everybody's working damn together. but remember if somebody could just bro, go back and we've been predicting yeah. the dude, fucking dude, future we bro. said it we, we, we said, said it oh, he everything. said it he said it he remember said, we also said like oh if uh, Junior Nacho and Slab won't do it like it's fucking over yeah, yeah. it happened crazy. bro it happened. that happened like last year I Look like we, where we're I feel like the song should have been like a little slower though like here he goes a Mexican Curtis like, like, cuatro kilometros like because they never Mexicans never happy with Ivan and Junior H and a mil kilometros type of vibe that like that no, but happened. now, like... No, but it's already, it's already been done. It's already huge, you know? Yeah. But mm -hmm. now think about it, like, all, that, all the labels are working together. The two biggest competitors are teaming up and, like, you know... Well, they're like, not teaming up, but they're making business together. Yeah. <laughs> Still teaming up. Why are you fucking being another Mexican bringing down another Mexican? I'm not bringing down. <laughs> Why won't you be apoyando <laughs> no, me and be like, yeah, you're right. They're they're working together. Yes, but bringing yes, but that's, that's another thing together. that's really if helping you out. you didn't know, we have a Guatemalan on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Wait, they could take it wrong, don't they? Who's a Guatemalan? Guatemalteco. <laughs> you don't remember? There goes Mexicans bringing down a whole rate. Oh, okay, but don't get Los too sensitive. Either. No, I'm like, sensitive. Like, like, I said, sensitive. like I said, they're not like teaming up. I don't think they're teaming up. Like, hey, let's do this together. I think it's more like, all right, we're going to do business now. Yeah, but back then it was like, they probably couldn't see, you know, I I probably saw each other try to beat each other up, but at least they're letting their artists work together. Yeah. yeah. And, and you know how you said, they have to make duetos, they have to work together to get to... You know, they it made a bigger... Because people, people were bored of, like, bigger. listening to, like, the people inside their own, like, label, you know? Like, oh, yeah. Because yeah. a veces, you're going to put, what, Lenny Ramirez... No, yeah, right? Lenny Ramirez with Eslabon, like, that's within, like, the genre. Everybody was they in the like label. They made, like, a few songs, no? Yeah, and now, like, they're like, okay, now it's time to, to reach out, expand, get their audience to become our fans, and our fans to become their fans, and then boom, boom, boom. And that's what Peso Pluma is doing. Yep. Like, when they do the remixes yeah. of, uh, what is it, the reggaeton songs with like five, six people? I mean, I personally don't know a lot about like what artists is where, like but Tyler, I know that there's got to be like shit. a lot of different labels that were able to come to an agreement. Yeah. Si Sera, that one has like a, like five, ten people. Like right now, with like <laughs> uh, this was saying, like J.O.P. doing duetos with, with English rapper. Like, oh, he's uh, doing a song with uh, Roddy Rich? Mustard and Roddy Rich. I fucking catch up and, <laughs> <laughs> and it's crazy that one of the comments was like who paid who for the feature. Yeah. yeah. You know, it speaks on how how big the how big Fuerza Regida has gotten. And that's like cool cuz it's it's opening new doors. Like I said oh, a yeah. thousand times, it's going to open more doors. Oh, the like government's been saying a thousand times <laughs> for boy, the past thousand years. It's to be clipped up <laughs> for boy, like my boy going to be 80. I told you Mexican music was gonna <laughs> with, be better than with rap the, with the crane. <laughs> I told Damn, you. Damn, if somebody could days. go back and find one of those clips, you know, from when the lights were purple and we looked like the Simpsons, and him <laughs> saying and him saying that, and to what's going on now, <laughs> we had like we'll put it four or something. episodes where Keiko saying that, bro. Yeah. It's because it was true. Keiko bro. was like the like the crazy old he man talking he, about like the future and stuff, and <laughs> yeah, nobody yeah. believed that. But look. You know I mean? no. Like the the myths and shit, like the old man with the myths, and they just, and just, it just ends. <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna say he's a time traveler. Time travelers do it. Damn, they're gonna say how did you know? <laughs> but yeah, how said, did when you know? Who, when when this brought up the peso pluma was gonna blow up, and then boom, look, number one artist on Spotify. Oh. Guys, if you guys haven't yet streamed our playlist on Spotify, please do. Splatty blood. And if you're an up coming artist and you think you have a banger on your hands, send it to us because we want to put it. Dude, on I had an idea. Plate. I want to bring it up might as well right now. Oh, oh. So oh, yeah. We don't take break. What if we create this type of like course where we teach these artists how to like distribute their music correctly, like who they need to network with, how to promote their music properly, using plug them influencers, up. like plugging them up, um, how to register their music, their lyrics, BMI and all that stuff. Of course. Like, I, 
or that'd be um, crazy. Yeah. I was thinking about because I mean, right there, what you're saying is what a label does, and what yes. they'll take eighty five percent. And then, then like also have money. this little thing where like we connect videographers, like oh, let's just say from San Francisco, and be like oh, you could hit up this person. He charges this much. This is his work, like the portfolio. I was thinking about I think that we'd, all we'd, morning. I know we'd yeah. make our mark, but it not only sounds... that, but like even get like explain to them what does Sony do, what every DSP does, how to get on these playlists, mm -hmm. how to get on our. Playlist. And then we could, and then after that we could talk to every, like let's just say Spotify, be like, hey, is there an email we can send where every artist like you guys could listen to music by music and give these artists an opportunity, or like what studios to go to. Like, we, yeah. I was thinking I about mean, the all day. You know could be in a situation to help some people well, out. That would a be whole, like gener a really whole generation, cool. maybe. But, we're like, like Think big. for example, like, a label is just, they do they do all of that, but if someone could do it by themselves, the label just there to help them, you know, the extra step with the, with the money-wise. Like, <laughs> yeah, because like, that's what the labels don't want you. Well, <laughs> the no, labels we're also wrong. talking, like, like moves that are like that could be self funded, you know. Yeah, so you don't have to sell out eighty five percent of your. Or like career. example, uh, like if there's they have tocadas, we give them a template of a contract, like you know, oh, just can, get them all I right. Do that. No, not that one. <laughs> actually, actually, he can't do that. No, the new one's yeah, yeah, yeah. good. The new one's the good. gig one's good. The gig one's yeah, good. The new one's but, good. But uh, like, what sound system to use or? I could do that. Damn, yeah. I think if we really get that going, we we could potentially, you know, make make our mark, you know, for something good and try to. We'll do something good for little, the culture. We'll give them or, yeah. a little Augusto chain. Yeah, or like... Just give me one, fool. Imagine. I only have one. Because, like, dude, one. I feel like... I don't know. But then also, I feel like a lot of these musicals, like, they don't invest in themselves. Like, the underground. Like, they don't. Yeah. Like, like yeah, when we were charging, like, 150 a promo on... I think it was Instagram. Like, no one wanted to do it. And I was like, dude, that's crazy. Like, Rancho follows us. Dell... Spotify, JB, everyone Jamie. follows us. Wait. This is like the chance. I have it, yeah. You really believe in yourself? Like one fifty. It, That's because, super cheap. And and I'm I not, feel like they're not they're not doing like, bro. There's hella platforms to like, put exposure on yourself. Like, yeah. Like bro, just hit up a TikTok and be like, hey, look, exactly. I got I got fifty bucks. Can you share me? Like, or do a TikTok with my sound. Like, so many people can do Dude, that. Dude, that shit. is like the trick. Yeah. Cause there's there's companies that do that. Like you know they hit us up. We did like, for Nodal, right? They gather up a bunch of influencers from TikTok. And then they'll be like, oh, give me three king. And he hit, this person finds, whoa, already has connection to all these TikTokers, which we do. And it's like, make a sound with this. And from there, psh. Listen to what he's saying. So we like, you guys can go and pay those 50 bucks yourself. Talk to the TikToker yourself. And you don't have to give away everything. But then also, Listen. I understand, like, maybe uh, there's certain people who won't get back to you guys or reply or look at the message. But, but that's where will. we come in. Yeah. Like, guys, hey, will. Like, let, let's just put this. We have experience because we used to be a grupo, so we know... <laughs> what yeah. to do like we we done we gone through everything we've, we've been in your footsteps like like with tocadas yeah, and stuff like we have we have contracts we have done how we to deal with promoters you. yeah like oh, yeah. I have dealt with hella promoters who like <laughs> and we wanna learned fuck you over who don't wanna fuck you over sometimes you gotta bite the bullet and get fucked over For in order exposure? to get the exposure that you need so like or even get more tocadas yeah we're not out here talking out of our ass like yeah. we experienced it we know what we're saying we did it what five years like, Five years of it. That's now you guys crazy. can elevate that. Before it was with super, super sad. Yeah. And we, we did it when TikTok was wasn't around, when Instagram wasn't popping. Now you guys. Hey, how old are you? Bro, we're. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm my boy, a dinosaur. 24. Nah, I'm messing with you. I know you're 24. Know what you're but that, we have the that experience and then also the experience here where we meet everyone. Because I remember in the beginning, like, I was like, oh, you could be independent, just upload on TikTok. But honestly, there's more to it. Like, what does Sony do? What does Spotify do? What does Apple Music do? Yeah, I think it was way and easier to say, like, oh, you could just be independent. You know, do everything yourself. But and now, now I I admit, like you need a team, you need a label, but there's like some things you can do to if you still want to be independent. You can make your own team. Coming soon. You don't have to go to a musical label. university. Music. <laughs> yeah, cause now we realize how much <laughs> stuff you need Kevin to do. Spoke. No, 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 cause I was I was listening to you guys. No, yeah. but that's that's dope, bro. Cause there's a lot of people. You cut it off a lot of uh, sorry, bro. I'm <laughs> sorry. There's a lot of like young talent that like. You know, they're like, oh, I wish I could do this, but the money, like, bro, it is, like, you, you know, have to, you just gotta know how to fucking, yeah, you I know, remember, $50, fuck it. I think, like, the the biggest issue with those upcoming musicos is that all they want to do is be musicos. Yeah. And I remember, we, I think that maybe that works for, like, a little bit, super bird cases, mm -hmm. but you need to, just as much as you're a musico and know how to play the guitar, you need to be 
You're you able to market a, yourself. You're yeah, able to be educated in everything. It, in terms yes, of, watch like marketing videos and stuff like that. And you really what, gotta know what's going on with like TikTok. what's gonna sound good at a party. Like why am I getting feedback? What cables do I use? Or what's gonna make us a trending song on TikTok? Like there's, dude, I don't get it. Like we said it so many times. Hey, and we like, said this Abraham Vasquez months and did months it again. And months ago. Abraham Vasquez literally made a song. Yeah. He's like, this little clip is gonna blow up on TikTok. I knew he thought about that. He said, oh, "Mi compas pendejo" or some shit. Yes. Everyone's yeah, using it. Not, not even pendejo, to go back to the same thing again, but we've talked about it before. Where I said like, hey, quiero. think of a TikTok sound, and you could see, you could see like the industry kind of catching up with that with the Abraham song and, and even uh, a few other songs. And then Munoz said it one time. He said, "Do oh, something, yeah, like do do something that like <laughs> relate with the people. Like, yeah, it's not what you want. Like sometimes you write your music because you're yeah. like, oh, I like this, I like that. Like no, it's music para músicos, yeah. it's music para la gente. Like relate to people because the the song with uh, Abraham Vasquez did like he explains that he didn't like school, that he fu- like school was fucked for him. Like yeah, he he hung out with friends that were dumbasses and shit like that. But you know, well, yeah, we could relate to that. Clip. Everybody could relate to that. Like." I fucking hated school. And then he went to school. Like, you know, it's like, bro, look. Now <laughs> he we dropped fucking... out. I dropped out for this. Yeah, now we Hell in yeah. Sony now we headquarters. Here in no, I said Sony. We're in Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> We're in Spotify. <laughs> Hey, at least he didn't say them. <laughs> daddy, daddy, that's your boy? That's your boy, daddy? That's the guy you advocated no, for? No, it's because we're using Sony headphones and I read Sony right there when <laughs> oh I looked at him. Yes, but as much as you know how to play the guitar, learn how to market yourself, learn how to do all that other stuff because otherwise you're just expecting for somebody to hit you up and be like, hey, I could do everything else. And, and then they take the No, 90%. you gotta you gotta get the ball rolling yourself. Uh, You know, a label will pick you up. Once you got something going on, they're not gonna get you right yeah. from the beginning. Yeah, because like for example, they 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 didn't get uh JOP just off like nothing, you know. He was. Oh, it reminds me a little bit of Chinito Pacas too with uh, TikTok. Yeah, the maybe you guys if you, uh, go watch that episode. I I knew him because he used to post a bunch of TikToks. Like maybe it's not like I checked, you know, every one he posted, but there was a lot, a lot, a lot. Maybe once a day, and he was like, "Oh, raza compartan." Like he got he knew what was going on with TikTok. And he would make the little sounds and look where he's at. It worked. Yeah, he got the ball rolling first. He he f- made the song and then focused on marketing. What well, think about Ivan? How many TikToks did he upload? A lot. Hundreds and hundreds. And I felt like it, they they both had the same scenario because they both popped out without even having the song out. You know, mm-hmm. like it was just them on TikTok with um using like. I see like guitar, acapella type of shit. Yeah, but yeah. it's just having you gotta add the little sauce to it. It's not like just put the thing, press record, and start singing. You need a little bit more than that. You kind of have to get, you know, what's going on. Just like that, it doesn't really work. When you just start singing, I see no You know, you gotta know how to network too. You gotta be. You My boy Keko, the king of networking, huh? Yeah, you can't be scared to talk to people. You can't be scared to reach out, you know? It's just not projection. About, it's not yeah. just about being an artist. It's like you gotta com- have communication skills or even develop them if you don't have them. Yeah, just reach out, bro, because at the end. No, no, no. Oh, at bad, I at, at the end of the time, like. The end of the day. Once they, once you, once at the end of the time, or <laughs> at the end of the, the day, like, at the end of the day, you're gonna be popping, and then they're gonna, they're gonna try to email you, and your email's gonna pop out on their email. Yes, thing, it's, it's all that little it. stuff, you know. You could get like a professional looking email. Oh, and we're saying this because not just to be like, oh, I know more than you. No, yeah, we're yeah. saying this because we want to see more artists like have their dream become a reality. You know. We want these artists. We want to interview y'all. Yeah, we want to have you guys on. We want to have you guys experience. You know, I've, I said if this a few more, times. If there's more. Where uh, you go up on stage and people start singing the song. You know, like people know the song. That's got to be like the best feeling ever. More than, I don't know. Yeah. It can't be anything better than that. Yeah. I feel like there is a lot of upcoming artists because like on Instagram, I'll get dms from musicals like bro one day i'm gonna be on a group of papa like one day you guys are gonna be interviewing me and i think that's dope because like it shows that these people are hungry you know to get like an on platform you know thank god like we have a platform because of you guys you know but it shows that even the next generation or the the, the generation coming up is, is looking for that you know that triumph yes keep I don't pursuing it <laughs> learn don't just keep doing the same thing every day try to learn a little bit more every day and don't give up don't give up Cause next topic, because we were talking about tocadas and stuff. Oh yeah, we're gonna do a segment where we talk about the worst things that happen at a tocada, <laughs> and to all the musicals, they can relate to this for sure. What are some that you guys remember? Can't relate. Like Damn. annoying as fuck. Like, oh. bro, I have, 
I dealt with so Wait, many. Giko, like, didn't someone slap your ass at a game? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah. Dude. I, got, I got confused somehow with some guy. <laughs> but we were dressed the same. Well, I was, they, I was damn, like, that's the excuse well, he came boom. up with on the spot, huh? Dude, Dude, he's, he's like, like hey, my bad, wrong homie. And Giko went, yeah. ah. <laughs> no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I, I turned around. He was like, "Hey, Jason." All right, tell no, us. No, it's because I knew it's because it happened and everybody started laughing. So I thought these dumbasses probably sent him. Oh. But then he was like, "Oh, nah, that was my homie." And I looked around. He was wearing the same shit I was wearing. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking twins. That was funny. I thought yeah. was one of the funniest for sure. Nah, dude, we have. So What's many. another one that you guys What's been to so tocadas? I never when been. The drunk guy asked for the song. Oh. Like, let's just say El Centenario. You play it, and then you play another song. El Centenario. It's like again, and then. They keep asking and yeah. asking, like, bro. Nah, the one I hate, bro, is when they come up to you, like, with the fucking stuck on of cash, and then you're like, all right, it's 350. They're like, nah, that's what I Like, bro, why the fuck are you flexing your cash if you want a fucking discount, you know? Yeah. Like, I'm going to tra- charge you my price, and that's my No, when we charge the, well, obviously, we charge before, where it's like, this is how much the hour, and then after, it's like, can I get a discount? Yeah. yeah I feel like a huge, a, a huge misconception that these people have, or that higher grupos, is that. That gig is a musical job, and they think, oh, they're just playing. But no, like that they inv- they they invested time, they invested in their speakers. equipment, speakers, wireless microphones, maybe wireless um guitar, uh, song. wireless uh, aux, cable, and I, it's a lot of money. You know, it really adds up. So maybe you have that shit on a credit card or something. And I think these Mike. people just think it's like um, it's just like oh, you're gonna play a few hours, have fun, you're gonna get. Free food, free drinks. Maybe you are, but that's kind of part of like, you know, the whole oh, thing. When they, of, when they try to use like the food. Yeah, be like, like oh, pero oh, te dimos The food is a plus, no? Bro, yeah, the food is a plus. Like, there are some Oh, no, that they try to use it as a plus, like, yeah. hey, you know? Yeah. Like, bro, there are some times where people be like, oh, come on, this, uh, we'll pay you this an hour off. Like, oh, in qué trabaja? And I'll be like, oh, construction. I'll be like, ¿cuánto le paga? He like, oh, 45. I'll be like, okay, te doy 15. Trabaja. Dude, he <laughs> said that one. You said that? Yeah. He said okay, that. Yeah. Okay, but how much. Can you say how much you were charging at that we're moment? We're charging three fifty. Three fifty. Yeah. How much did they want to pay? Two eighty. Two eighty. Okay. And you asked them well, to stay gas. Yeah. And then he like, oh, soy constru- he construction said that worker. Shit. Be like, oh, te pago quince. Ven a hacer una zanja en mi yarda. Yeah. And like, no, no, I told him, like, te doy quince. Vas a trabajar. He like, now what the fuck? I like. He's like, entonces. Shit like, like, es nuestro trabajo. He like, yeah. Yeah. But this y'all need like contracts that, too. Like, yeah. Though. Es que siento que tienen esa thing in the misconception. Mm-hmm. Pero no me acuerdo quién lo dijo. Pero dijeron, no, la música en vivo y traerse un grupo es un lujo. Y yeah. los lujos. Y es un gran lujo, es yo creo de los más grandes que hay. Yeah, Entonces, it's, it's no nice es barato. Too. It's nice. Es caro. It comes with, you know, and then it's not even an hour, you know? Y'all get 15 you, minutes you break. You get 45 minutes of playing time and 15 minutes of break. Bro, and you know what pissed me off? No jugaron la hora completa. Oh, this and my that. God. Like, like bro. you got to let them know in that contract that you're going to play for 45 minutes We, and they get 15 minutes That's an example, though, because that's what they it. other groups told it's us. Like, it's like that. But I mean, I do know some groups that pay like an hour, but yeah. usually it's like 40 no, hours. We, we stayed, minutes. we stayed, we play. Tocamos 45 minutos and 15 minutos de descanso. And then that's the hour. That's, that's the an hour. hour. Yeah. And then we started, you know? But yeah. sometimes, you know, we take a little extra five minutes more on the break. But oh, I thought you were going to say you, that you do an extra five minutes of playing. Hell no. No, sometimes <laughs> we, we we would go over. Bueno, pues a little extra break, another one you play. It's like it's about to be long, you know? It's about to be a break, and then they ask for songs. No, and then you know what we'll do? Like, sometimes we'll play, like, the two hours, and then, like, they'll be counting by the breaks, you know? So sometimes we'll play two hours and be like, oh, oh pues yeah, ahí yeah. no tomaron descans. And, we'll, like, we'll add the hour, mm-hmm. but I'll be like, no, era una hora porque no tomaron el break. Like, Bro, we got the fucking times right here. Like, <laughs> another, you get what he said? <laughs> yeah, we got the times right here. Another yeah, thing I that we you. would deal with is that is people would be like, oh, jalen te pa acá mi casa, toquen unas can- toquen por unas dos horas, no más va a haber tres personas. Like, bro, it doesn't matter if it's three people oh, or fifteen or people. Like, we're gonna bring our whole system in play because you're gonna pay for that. Oh, hour. they were trying to get it cheaper just because it was just because it was less people. Like, it's it a, that's matter. a bigger luxury. That's a bigger luxury. Hey. You know? Get the JBL speaker, yeah. But you know, you know what, what would be annoying? I like it. No way, fuck that. I, well, I ain't never seen, so I didn't really care. <laughs> when you don't connect to speakers, oh, then like they want to Oh, like, oh, para una yeah. al aire? Like, Not when, uh... Wait, like, my bad, sorry. No, but gonna... what do you mean, like... Ec- when like, they tell you to acapella, come, like, they're like, oh, come play, but without speakers. Oh, to get it cheaper. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's, oh, that's the charm. Nobody that's harder. One. Yeah, it's harder because the singer has to... Oh, I get it now. I like it. voice. Sorry. But now it will piss me off. Like, I wouldn't care because we're getting paid. But, for example, like, if you, if you're like, oh, got otra hora. But then, like, you get it, and then you're like, pero quiero que me toquen aquí. 
like, bro, we would have to be there, you know, and everybody else is just like watching. I'm like, that's kind of weird. At the same time, I ain't go fuck, but for the other people, I felt bad because like we cannot play for everybody, not just. Yeah, like some people say pon in sus moños and be like, or the guy that would dress all in Gucci, all like wanna be fucking oh, chaka yeah. as fuck, and never wanted a fucking pitch in. They'll be yeah. like, oh, otra hora, otra hora. And then the only fucking be like, oh, tengo 20. Like, damn, bitch, put in like fucking 200. Put the shoe. Yeah. Put the shoe in. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I feel like a lot of people don't respect musicos. Yeah, because they think at it's least easy. musicos are tocadas like that, huh? Pero yeah. oh, but other they people, have... they idolize them. Hey, you know, yeah. you know what? The, we have, musicos have been through the most scariest shit. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> Ever, bro, we got guns pulled out. We have not getting paid because, yeah. like, they're just fucking assholes, so you got to do something about it. Some guy, some guy tried to fucking threaten us by like kidnapping us and like hiding us in his, like, in the <laughs> back. Bro, but he was super so, drunk and super short. We're like, so yeah, I don't know shit, about that. Bro, like, and then we have fucking one time, one got shot at fucking oh, little yeah. Smurf or what is it? Brownie? What? Uh, the wizard? Well, his name was Diego, no? Yeah, but the other food with the wizard. The yeah, we look like a wizard. A little wizard with the cuete. Yeah, pinche compa brownie or whatever his name is. Like, <laughs> bro, there's so much scary shit. People come out fucking pistolotas and shit. Like, I didn't. Yeah. You didn't go with us to the gig in Paris, but we went to we had a gig in Paris. Remember? Yeah. And then they asked if we wanted like this pillowcase of coke or the money. And we're like, I don't know what to do with that. I'm fucking like 16 years old. I'll just take the money. Yeah. yeah. You guys were pioneers in that. No, you guys. I feel like yeah. Before it was saturated. I feel like now to saturated. get a tocada. Of sh- because I feel like music, musica mexicana grew so much that everybody, you know, yeah. I mean, even me, you know, picked up an instrument. I never, I'm nowhere near the level of, of yeah. playing, but a lot of people, you know, see si se aplicaron, they know how to play good and they start a group and now there's a bunch of groups. Oh, yeah. They were, they were playing before there was a bunch of groups and yeah, yeah. yeah I feel they had I, more money than what to do, than they know what to do with it. Oh, you yeah, had like, more money uh, back like, then than now. You had more money back <laughs> then than now. Like, yeah. I feel like uh, as a musico, you like if, if, as a, a grupo, like if you're, if you're good, you have a good sound system and you know how to like put in the hours like from 9 to like 12 hours you could uh like go home with a good good amount of money but then like another thing to consider is your health and the desveladas que te vas a dar like you so be going crazy. home like at 6 in the morning from playing like at what 10 mm-hmm. now you'll be there all fucking night an hour, an hour, an hour. Like, you're tired. You're... And el pinche frío, wey. A veces yeah, no oh, te da un yeah. puto calentón. Fucking or like, nothing, is hard in the cold. Imagine the singer... Yeah, so for people that hire these musicos, you know, I've never had enough money to do that, but for these people that do, like, what advice would you give them when hiring musicos? Like, Dale una what yelera, to keep them in consideration, yeah. Una hielera con agua, bebida. Offer una, food. Una, una botella de tequilita, un calentón, una <laughs> Damn, <salina. laughs> that Damn. I think, okay, I think, yeah, I think a, a, a musico plays good when they have a good space to work with. Like, for example... Like have, good. no little fucking corner. Yeah, way. yeah. Like give, give them give, if you could give them like a like a little like. Cause then they have to stand like right next to the fucking speakers and get like uh, feedback. feedback. Like, yeah, bro, that's yeah. Horrible. Give give them space to where they're comfortable playing. You know, if they're comfortable, they're gonna interact with the fans. They're gonna dance with the with the fans with like, the people at the party. You know. Que no anden así, way. Cause there's sometimes <laughs> like where we had to play shoulder to shoulder way. I had oh, Harry Jason. So, so uncomfortable and like, oh, okay. Singer, okay. Like, okay. Diego, me, and then the singer on top of our shoulders yeah. to play. Like dale espacio, way. Like, cause you never know. Well, like sometimes the they have like accordion. Say, you know, those who like to fucking mess around. More Move around space, and you know. Shit. Also, oh, and then also, space. if you're a musical, show presentable with a suit, you know. And on time, you're not, you're not JOP yet. Like, show presentable, make look nice. Yeah. I, I, I really a lot like, of people would would tell that too. What would they tell? Or whatever you're, because sometimes we would try to like just dress like street, and they'd be like, "Hey, you guys should like dress more presentable." Huh? I don't know some fucking streetwear. But after yeah. that, like all we wore was suits. Yeah, and then maybe on, on that note, that let's say, oh. Yeah, maybe we only wear regular clothes because we're only charging five hundred. Let's say that's cheap. No, that is cheap. Um, but maybe play, give a a show like you're charging a thousand, maybe two thousand yeah. dollars, and you know they'll call you back, and then you have a lot of work, and you can mm-hmm. raise the price. So you have to do Shit. more than what they're paying you for, and you know your work is gonna speak for itself. And I remember something we, agree with we you. used to always do at Tocas was we used to have business cards. We mm-hmm. yeah, <laughs> and, and then we used to have Keko <laughs> give them out to everyone. And from there, we got so much work. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how it is business, now. Like Business cards and, like, having social media is super important. And obviously, ha- if you could have, like, someone to book your shit, like, for example, Keiko used to do it for us. And he would just be like, hey, you guys have a tocada this weekend from here to here. Be ready here at uh, this time. And then Jason. And then, and then just go. I'm busy. No, I, I'm getting <laughs> out of the shower. I'll be there. 
No, bro, this fool, he was so unreliable when it came to games, bro. <laughs> unreliable. Like, I, thought yeah, I feel like if you have like you have a lot of talents that you just need a the right direction and you can put all that stuff to work, you know? Bro, I have I have so much knowledge that I wish I know how Sometimes to work you it. just the fault that just the the words to say vocabulary. Yeah. yeah. So then so you need so you spend all this money to ensure mm-hmm. a good tocada, a good mm-hmm. So you you said water, drinks, food, Enough space, presentable. Yeah. Anything Socially else? presentable. Yeah. That's be, pretty much it. Be prepared. Oh, oh, this is huge. This is huge. And this is probably going to be one of the most important and bring you the most money is learn how to read the crowd with the music that you oh, play. Oh, yeah. Like, if you see, like, it's, like, older people, like, Tejana, like, like all ranchos, like, Miguel don't play, like, El Drip and shit. You get me? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Like, like, una cruz de madera, feria de Pero si me ven, empiezo con la del azul. Yeah. If you see, like, it's young people, then, you know, it's on Bellico shit. And then learn how to, like, start good, too, you know. There's ways when you can start with, like, a with like an intro, present yourself. Obviously, if it's a mayanita, start with the mayanitas and something that's, like, they're eating, you know, something light. And then once they're ready, like, once you see them kind of finishing their plate of birria, yeah. like it's you need to learn las cumbias. cumbias. It's because yeah. you gotta know how, yeah. how to, you know, gotta know how to. Um, how he was saying, like if you don't, if you can't read it, you can't. Because what's that comiendo way? You're not gonna put dancing music. Cause yeah, nadie, nadie get you. Because you have to do. Now that I'm seeing you guys are doing a lot of jobs. You know, of course, live music. You know, it's a desgaste. But you also are doing like the trabajo del DJ. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know where you're kind of reading the crowd, picking the right songs, mm-hmm. and, and, and some, then it sucks, wait, because sometimes like. You'll get there, and then the DJ will be playing. You uh-huh. have to know, like, different style of music than what you guys play. So you got to know how to, like, la- latch on to it and, like, bring the crowd up. Because he can have the crowd dead as fuck. So then that's when you come in. And a veces it will start off slow. Pick up. But yeah, within, like, the, the, the second hour starts, yeah, va para arriba. Oh, and then what it helps sucks, a lot, bro. too, is uh, carrying an aux cable for the mixer. So in case there's no DJ during your break, it's not like dead silence and shit. Like, oh. play some music. You just see, you guys your, right here, you guys can see that they have practice. Connect yeah. your They're not just talking out their ass. <laughs> oh, another thing I recommend, if a DJ has a sound, don't use it. <laughs> yeah. Never never it's rely, never rely bring, on bring other people's stuff de- besides never, your own. Never. We just bring we, everything that's yours. So you need to bring everything yours, stand everything. alone, and not expect okay, and there to be anything for you to use. Two subs, a mixer, One time. two monitors. Oh, can you say it again? I'm sorry, I cut you off. So, oh, so people know. Okay, so basically our setup was two 15-inch speakers, uh-huh. a sub, a mixer, an aux cord. Two monitors. Uh, two monitors. Um, obviously the two guitars and Lights. the bass, the wireless, the wireless mics and the wireless. I remember uh, pack. We also, oh yeah, wireless helps a lot too because then you the can dance could with go. the. You can you can interact with the people dancing. You know, like if you're playing like, um, el manicero, like you can go dance. Like <laughs> you can do so much shit. Like. So if you guys should start like a booking service and like, like there you go the Musico, <laughs> Musico Academy for <laughs> like for teaching these, these these the school. people how to no, I, it's, we're gonna make the course trust guys. Angel brought it up. If you guys want a booking agent, please reach out. I have what is it? Firme Firme, yeah, yeah, no. Firme, Firme Music. It's coming back. I want to be booking uh tocadas for you guys. I have so much connections to like the whole music industry. I booked them shows. I L.A. Have, O.C.I.E. area. I have got engaged for plenty of other artists that are out there. Like, if you guys need work, if you guys need gigs, uh, live recording, grabación, everything, like, let me know. I'm available. Instead of School of Rock, it's going to be a School of Serreño. School of Augusto. School of Augusto. Yeah, you just have so many. Uh, we should do a little camp, like, compositores, you know? Compositores. Like, no, that was a thing. Gonna, that was a thing. I Musicals. remember I heard um, and then? compositor uh, like some retreat. Or yeah, some shit. up in the mountain, like yeah. they quitan el really? teléfono away, and you're yeah. like hanging around Depetodos. with a lot of compositores, and like oh, y'all just yeah, writing, yeah, yeah. y'all just writing music for like a whole weekend. You know, That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. like we, we could do some shit like that. You know, rent out a cabin. I like, feel like we're just gonna get drunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, play this. Song. Hey. <laughs> we'll be right there. I'm pisteando. Like we're shit. gonna learn scalas. Pass me the mezcal. Yeah. <laughs> No, yeah. but yeah, guys, like, just know how to how to use your equipment, too. Like, si so, el, si, no mames, one time so we I went feel to like a fucking guys, tocada yeah, way. Yeah. With, they let us borrow a sub, bro. We oh. never know how to use the sub. Oh, yeah. yeah. We played Ash the first hour, and, like, the, the crowd was going down, you know? Where, like, we felt like it was dead. So we disconnected the sub the second hour and played it how we know how to play it. And, it, it and bro, the ambiente went up. Shout out to Ruben. Ruben, oh, picture yeah. Ruben way. And also, like, um... If you guys are having trouble with sounds, like get a sound engineer and then just look at what he did and then do it again for like the next. Yeah, one. you kind of had to learn your own sound. There's also certain mixers where like you could save like pre-record. 
the presets, presets, so you just press on it and then it already knows like the, oh, vocals the, this the loud. QSC one. You could save all the presets. Well, remember, yeah. every place has a different echo, so don't you can't like use the don't same rely name. on the same preset because wow. you could be at a salon the next day at a house. Yeah, yeah. Or you could wow. be indoor or outdoor, and maybe there's too much. It's booming too much on the indoor one. You guys have so much knowledge. You gotta bro, put it to like, use. My head, my brain is like full, not full fucking throttle. No, right now, hey, so you guys also can see. You know when they talk about music, like they've been in the music it was four, industry. It they was had four, to desveladas. four to five years of doing uh, gigs. I think it was more. But a puro pinche desvelada. We started in 2016. Desvelada. Yeah, like invest in your instruments too. I feel like a lot of people are really good and they still have like the Takaman G series. Like if you are good, make the jump to the fucking legacy or the the P, the the P. What is it? When P the group the when P the group series? started, my credit. <laughs> why? Because we put everything under my credit card. I was yes. buying everything. Damn, also, oh no, the so P3. that's why I'm that's why you good P3. now, huh? They helped you out with the A10 credit score. <laughs> <laughs> so all the ladies. No, but yeah, guys, if you guys really you guys want that card, we'll make it happen. Maybe also yeah. like getting like opening up like a DBA and getting a credit card and then getting some business credit. Yeah, because I, I business. This, this, like if you don't, if you don't, we learned that. Like, this gives me kind of, year, but they they give me kind of the the vibes of like when Russ was go was talking about how like to do everything yourself because mm -hmm. all this that they're saying is doing more. You know, they didn't say anything about Escala. You know, they were talking about. The other side of being a successful musical, investing in yourself, practicing the crowd, all that stuff. And it just has to get done. And I feel like they could teach you guys. Watch, we're going to make it happen. And then we'll even get like, we'll interview like, let's just say like Jamie, like, oh, why is this important? And then he just talks about it. We go to the records. Why is this important? If we go to Spotify. Oh, why is it important to be on a playlist? Sony. Oh, why is it important? We'll connect music everything. And, and it would be interesting, maybe not even Never just for musicals, but also for the everybody else you know because then once they have they do hire a grupo they're gonna be like oh why heard there that they gotta do this and this and why didn't they uh they do it so but, i feel like they'd be more they know more too yeah and sometimes like it sucks because no, la gente no te entiende way like they don't they, know it's a job like they oh, just yeah. think you're there to fuck around and like but no, it's a, it's, tempo, you know but like a job. It, it's a job for for some people you know some people live off of this shit like if you do a gig Cause we used to do it what sometimes I visit Thursday to Sunday or you know Friday to Sunday, and you're playing like five hours a day, uh three what three fifty like suck us some a good money you know, so it's just like so I can be how much how I can practice how and much time do we practice on the weekdays, uh, two days yeah we we used to practice Tuesdays and Thursdays but. For how like long? two hours. Like two hours, three hours? No, longer. We used to meet like at five and go home like at 11. Oh, but actual yeah. practice, practice, like two Oh, hours. I was going to say that. Oh, but actual practice? Yeah, maybe it's hard. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah, I you almost wait and we'll just fuck around. Like, we'll just talk. I would never show Fun up Fun fact, practice. that's how, if you guys didn't know, that's how I met them. I went to one of their practicas. And honestly, I didn't see them practice anything. <laughs> maybe they might have played two songs. Yeah. I think we were just it showing fucked up probably the first half. <laughs> yeah. Nah, there's, also, I've heard, there's also a little device, like if you guys don't have a segunda voz. And, like, honestly, that shit works pretty good. It's like, the I don't pedal. know what it's called. It's like a little pedal. And then it detects what tono the guitar's in. So, obviously, that tono's, like, where you're, you're singing at. Mm -hmm. And then you could adjust a little knob if you want it, like, High, deeper. Low. And it sounds good, like, the segunda. And you just have someone on the pedal, like, no segunda, yes segunda. And, like, it sounds good. So, the segunda, you just step singer. on the pedal and the thing, ah! Yeah, yeah. yeah, and, like, and yeah. you change the volume. Shut up. We yeah. had it. It, it makes a huge difference. Yeah, like it sounded no. really good, especially like, with older music. Because when having a segunda that's good, because it like fills in the the, the noise and everything. Yeah, it does. Our setup was badass, bro. We had we had two bar on lights, the two bar lights. <laughs> fucking the. Sub. You set everything up, huh? Yeah, bro. I knew how to fucking use that shit. Like, we upgraded like. We Damn, I don't think I've seen you guys like this happy or this enthusiastic about a topic. <laughs> nah, bro, we know. In a long, in a know, long, like, long time. Because I, like, I feel like, like good it was our life, bro. Like, we never, we never touched upon that. Or me asking, well, I'm kind of asking them because, you know, I was not part of this. Um, I feel like you guys just, the, it ended so abruptly. You guys started the podcast <laughs> and you guys never really, like, got that closure. You know, I feel like you guys, you guys' face lit up. Well, just one day to this. the next, it was over, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, one day to the next, it was over. You guys starting a new thing. It was a huge change. Crazy new learning curve. I feel but like look, they're all smiling hasta que los yeah, veo sonrientes. Bro, I feel, I feel like, it's because we had so much fun and like, it's because like the bond, the bond we had, like it was badass because it was like, we'll meet new people, we'll do new things. Sometimes like, yeah. and I was in Putisa way because like, we'll be at a gig from like four or like on a Saturday, we'll start like at four to like seven. And then we had, that would be like in Anaheim. We had to be in LA, yeah. and bro, <laughs> I was like, A to the IE. Yeah, like we were fucking cutting through traffic, 
And then they'll call us an IE at like two in the morning. Hey, could come play? Manecida over there. Yeah. And then we'll come back fucking all day, you know? But at the end of the day, we'll fuck around, bro. Yeah. Like it was fun. It was fun. Like, yeah. we, we had so many stories. We went we went to a gig in Ventura, bro. Like oh, man, is that gig? <laughs> Dude, that yeah. gig was funny, bro. Like we we dogpiled a guy like a big guy like, like he imagine was a big, dogpile bro. where you just I don't know what a dogpile because he was drunk and he fell and everyone just jumped on top of yeah. him oh I never had enough friends for a dogpile yeah no way and then he, he <laughs> had, dogpile he had, him right now <laughs> he, he hey, had yo. his beer so like okay. se tronó way and like había un pinche charco de de beer and like everybody was like oh it's blood like those are, like <laughs> the people that were not there on top of the dogpile knew they it was called beer. the cops because they yeah. said that we jumped a guy and. There was Y'all blood did all over. jump a guy. Oh no! Like, Wait, so Doc Paul, you said the guy fell because no. he was drunk. Uh huh. So like he fell. He said, "Y montoneros." Y todos se subieron arriba, güey. Even yeah. you, even yeah. Yeah. Know, everyone. Like, no everyone. seas malo. Yeah. It's because yeah. like we were like also you have to like interact with like the people. Yeah, you, like, you know how to vibe with that, and then because we obviously were like desmadrosos, so we would literally treat them like. Like, like a friend. family, yeah. friends, or whatever. Yeah. So I mean, and it shows the result. You know, you guys yeah. have a lot of work. No, pides, no, pides ese grupo que like you just sh- go, don't say hi to anybody, and like, se ponen una esquina, you know, like yeah, us. Be, be social. Fuck no, bro. Like I'll be out there giving people shots. I'll get, I'll take the mic stand. Well, he's like the same person yeah. still. I I would get the mic stand and I'll put it in the middle and I'll make them dance on the. You would dance, what you? Yeah, yeah, you would dance on the pole. You know, like you'll start the show. Like así empieza más gente, way, and then like. Traen la, the bottle and you start taking the shots and the next thing you know like otra hora otra wow. hora and then boom honestly Lord. I would I would have never said hi to anybody nah like bro. if I would have yeah like, like, like I don't think I would have said hi you have to make them dance so much so then after they want more yeah yeah you gotta oh, and, that, then you end it, that, and they're like ah oh, they're strategy you got a favorite part to do and three bro. and three minutes before so they say oh try and then you look like the good person like alright another one for the yeah. one more uh, dicks yeah. <laughs> so then like two minutes before like they actually complete the hour was over yeah you guys pull out the bangers. Yeah, yeah. Like the, they're like no, no otra, and then you and everybody finish, looks at each other, hundred, hundred, hundred. And then right. you finish, you finish before the hour ends, and then they're like, oh, otra, oh, oh and then you play it, and then like they're like, ah, then, no, while they're playing, I'll go talk to the guy, hey, quieren otra hora, like I'll give you the discount. Yeah, 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 yeah. hey, yeah. I'll like, I'll like, yeah, talk, it's no, porque pero, me llamaron que quieren, so like, he, pero yeah. ustedes ya estamos aquí, like, you pero want, ustedes dicen, uh-huh. and they're like, arre otra hora, and then some other guy be like, ah, no, dos, and then they'll talk. And, all and then pitching. everyone just ends up pitching in because, like, yeah. they won't. Look how like, happy they are talking about it. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Look how happy they are. And then, like, I would go back. I would go, fuck yeah, bro. That shit was fun. Yeah, I should go back. Well, I mean, even if it's not just as in playing, to use your skills, you know? Help That's what I'm saying. Like, the course would be a good idea. But, like, a legit course. None of that, like, oh, here's how to blow up. For free, you know? <laughs> you guys would, like, make... I think you guys really do this good. It would be before and after Augusto Pan La Musica Mexicana. Bro, Imagine you so guys have your stories. first grupo that blows up that you guys helped out with we your can. knowledge. That would go down in history. We can. We know so much about this. Damn. Yeah. Okay, That's yeah. crazy. No, no, that was, that was, 30 minutes until we get kicked out. Oh, of yes. Me. We have a time limit. That is crazy. But, guys, once again, if you guys have any streams that are... But on that Augusto playlist, please go stream it. Make oh, sure real- to add it to your playlist. Get us to number one on the <gasps> Spotify yes. podcast. If you guys really want to help us out, now that only the real ones are left, go Spotify, put the podcast. Even if you already watched it, or even if you don't want to wa- hear us no more, just hit play and walk away. Yeah, please, at least play thirty seconds so the revenue can add up. And no, because- there is no revenue. <laughs> There's There's no no revenue. revenue. Uh, uh, what's that? Are- the likes. The likes. The uh huh. The way like. Oh yeah, well he's talking about the interaction. Playlist. You okay. you could go in there and just like you don't even have to listen to anything. Just, yeah, just rate like, the podcast up. too. There's a rate ratings. I'll yeah. tell this up for four. Yeah, and just letting us know rush. we do not get paid. Yeah, there is when he said revenue. There is no revenue for. I mean, like Spotify the, ar- the arcade. Like what the shit like? Where it shows analytics. Analytics. Yeah. Esa cosa. Yeah, oh, the yeah. ranks. Yeah, yeah, but don't think like oh we're gonna get more money or something like that because you guys will like it. Like they're honestly nah. there's zero dollars. We just want to get higher on the charts. We self-funded here. Guys, thank you for supporting us. I know right now we're in this uh, small room, which is still a blessing. But if we get enough support, I think we're going to have our own designated room. Maybe get a warehouse. And I feel like that's the goal with um, this podcast. And just keep creating dope content for you guys. You know, thank you guys. Dude, this guy's crazy. Like sometimes at night, because I usually don't really show it in the day. I don't know why. But like at, at night, I'll be like, what the fuck? Like this is what I do. 
Like, dude, look at us. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. We're in the fucking Spotify room. Yeah, this is like a legitimate, like downtown LA. From Westminster. Yeah, from Westminster to from downtown LA, filming a podcast in this state of the art room. It's pretty amazing. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just like, what the fuck? Yeah, we're blessed to be in the position that we are. Um, you know, just having like a good friend group and doing something sick with your friend group. Yeah, I feel like that's the most like badass thing that like we kind of grew up together. I know Angel, you were like. Got Late to the game. You were adopted, but I feel like the vibes are always good here. <laughs> now yeah, because when to they be got gecko. to 100k, he said I was barely at 80. <laughs> now you, hey, but now you're at 100k. <laughs> now you're now I'm at 100, dog. we're at 120. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now you're a yeah. service, dog. Yeah, how much uh, everything <laughs> has grown, too, because... Actually, I took a screenshot of... Um, <laughs> you keep cutting out your fucking... Oh, my bad. Sorry. Right no, here. you should have... Right was good? You should have finished on fur balloon. Oh, I should have been here since the beginning. That's what we've been Dude, saying. We told you. Tienes miedo, que, wey. Like, when Danny was here, you were like... Oh, okay. Wait, how did I used to look? <laughs> like oh, that. hell no. <laughs> fucking, like... Why was I not like this? Fucking crypto chin. Crypto... Crimson chin. Crimson. That's crazy. Let me take a picture. What, what, do, you, what, what do you think I was sitting like this, bro? The mic fucking covers my. Damn, chin. you guys gonna get my side profile? You guys gonna see my nose all bad? Pinche Dolberg. Espérate, wey. Espérate, otra, otra. Oh, more? Yeah, we'll from On the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Would you send it to me, asshole? Black. Me la mandas airdrop porque. Yeah, but this is iPhone 14 Pro Max. Alright, take a good picture. <laughs> what color? Black. Oh, that's crazy. Ahora sí, a los veo bien. That's crazy. If honestly, if, if we were still in the studio, and how much you think they'll give me for my phone? Angel would have recorded it with the lights off. I got 800 for this one. Yeah. <laughs> nah, you'd get like. That's not the max. No. Nah. Like too many. Too many. Whoa, too whoa, many we'll DMs. AT and T. You slid into too many yeah. DMs with that 600. one. Six hundred. Price saw. went down. Depends on the carrier too. The first time that we ever record with AC. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's not even hot in well, here. Well, but it's like nice. Then that's why you don't notice. Look, seventy-four degrees. 74. Well, we could set it down, but I got a little hot. You know, guys, more. this is our first time recording in this room. Obviously, we're still getting a little bit used to it, and we recorded this for the second time because we were nervous the first. We time. almost got kicked out by security earlier. Yeah. Oh yeah, because they we, said, "What are you guys doing?" I here? had a whole photo shoot. So they're we're like, here with Spotify. You guys? They're like, "Y'all, you know, guys." No. He's like, "You beaners." <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, we're gonna cut that out. <laughs> No, but he could say it, though, because Because I'm one. a beaner. He is a beaner. Like, like a, you can make fat jokes because you're fat. <laughs> yeah, and if you can't take fat jokes, then stay at the kitchen, you fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, have you seen that guy from South Park? Who, who, who told you that? <laughs> <laughs> Someone must have told him that. <laughs> no, I saw, I, saw in David Do- that? I saw it in David Dobrik. No, se pasa. Like, I can make skinny jokes because I'm skinny. No. Of course. You can make those nutrido jokes. That's yeah. fucked up, fool. <laughs> there he is. Hey, malamanda culo. Like you could, you could call, you could tell Kiko he gives you fat boy energy. Damn, why he's not thick boy? Bro? He's a, he's a big boy. He's in his big boy era. Like big. you could call it Kiko enormous. Hey, we could say we're in our fat era. Hopefully soon we'll be in our high not calorie, fat era. Hali- super high, 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 high calorie. We're in our high calorie <laughs> super, intake era. Yeah. Super size me era. You guys could like, you guys could be like, oh, we're cattle. <laughs> Two cattle. <Ma. laughs> you guys, you guys can start the episode like. <laughs> ¿Ves? Le sigo uno el rollo tantito por buena onda y se pasan de lanza. Tommy from fucking Bamboos over here, fucking. Oh. Don Julio, 1942 hey, bottle. Do y'all just wake up and then we're going, oh. Bro, oh, you wake up in the dude. morning and you, they think you're a cobija. You're, you're barely waking up because how many, like, dumbass moments did you have today? With, yeah, I had a lot of He hasn't even woken up. No, no, he's doing better because in the morning, Jesus <laughs> Christ. When y'all get scared, y'all go, oh. Dale, <laughs> Tipping cows. <laughs> yeah, guys. Think Daddy, we're done, so we could come in. <laughs> yeah, so we're wrapping up. Yeah, wrap it up. Are we? Wrap it up. Oh, you want to do that? Yeah, that before you. Should we do you... the 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 song, the TikToks right now? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. that's why right. we got thirty minutes. Right, wait, guys... wait, wait, wait. When when you guys, Dale. Go, when y'all see another cattle, y'all go more. <laughs> 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 They're gonna fucking put the the cow shit <laughs> though. Shit, <laughs> awesome. los marcan. That's good. that's a tattoo for them. That's a replication <laughs> of it. I'm probably worse off. Angel, your tongue goes like this. <laughs> Dude, that's weird. Mine goes straight. Mine's looking like a normal human being. No. Can you guys switch your Oh, it's tongue? a hitchhiker's thumb. No? This is a normal I Everyone show their their feet. Angels. Boom. No, más pa' que vean. Presumido. Look, Angel got me these shoes. <laughs> for my birthday. Oh, I did? Yeah, you did. That's crazy. I never received shoes. Damn. Or vape. 
<laughs> he gave you a lot of vape in every. No, yeah. Said, well, you know, shit. actually, my sister told me the other day that I haven't given her a vape stuff in like a year, and I was like, damn. Me neither. I, you should I realized... be like, pues aquí está el precio, mija. <laughs> <laughs> I realized because I gave it to you guys. No. The other day, I gave you a shirt. What do you say? I already have that. You didn't give me a shirt. Did he? You yeah. You gave I brought it back. I brought it back because you said I already have that. He I should have worn it. You got a ski that, mask. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. how many times you guys have seen him with the ski mask a bunch of times hella promo bro not like you post when they post it never I just got mine I gave that to you what three weeks ago with a ski mask oh I thought I was wearing vape but I'm wearing Patagonia Patagucci the vape stuff you gave us were sick though those are sick but yeah guys 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 look check this out <laughs> look at that no que no <laughs> downtown LA all the famous people are gonna see me with Angel's vape you could tell when people are from LA what happened Ha. El que no le doy nada. I bought this one. He ha- he gave me one too. <laughs> no, you didn't buy it. You know, I actually bought I bought a duffel bag from you. Oh yeah, yeah two guys, shirts. Si Back then, I used to sell it to him. The shirts didn't fit me. Was just wearing a high calorie intake, girl. Here. All right, guys. If you guys are watching towards the end, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> the one that doesn't has a spoon. I was like, here. Oh, and let us know if you guys like a, like the park is better here or in the studio. You can change studios if y'all want. Uh, someone because comment, Angel, you were sitting weird in the because beginning. Because Rap Caviar has a big room, but we already passed them on the charts. Oh. Y'all heard? <laughs> Spotify, y'all heard. But Spotify. ASMR. And they got, a, they got a Hulu deal. And they're like 37 on the charts. We passed them like crazy. And we just started uploading. Help us out, please. So hopefully, Spotify will be like, you know what? Rap Caviar, y'all gotta ask Agusto Baba for the big room. And then we'll be like, I'll think about it. Musica Mexicana is on top. And they're by Spotify <laughs> Studios. <laughs> That was you the other day, you know? Flake me up. Let's do the oh, oh, TikTok. We should do so, that. Home. So let's wrap it up. Say bye. Thank you guys for watching to the end. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, quiero ya bailar, güey. Los babies. But hey, put los babies. Oh, put los babies. I actually want to listen to los babies. Put los babies. <laughs> He'd rather flick them up. The uh, lighting's ugly, güey. Are they on Spotify? No mames, for the right. Are they on Los Que Mandan playlist or Para Andar a Gusto Papa playlist? They're exitos. Oh, on Los Babies right here. A million four hundred.